up? What's up? Today we got uh, UFC Unfiltered with Matt Serra and Jim Norton, and then we're doing a uh, CBS radio in the city. So it should be a fun day. Yeah, I'm super excited for my fight. I'm happy I don't really have any weight to cut and uh, can't wait to punch this guy in the face. He's been talking a lot of shit for weeks, so it's uh, it's judgment day for him. You know, you, you can do all the talking you want, but in the end, we still have to fight, and that's what I love about this sport. You know, it's not, a, it's not like we're gonna play a game of basketball together. Welcome to UFC Unfiltered. He yes. Myself. Hi. I love when we have an in-studio guest at the beginning of the show, and. Chris Camozzi is with us. Thanks for coming, Chris. Yep. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be down here. What do you hear? Oh. What do you hear in your headphones that the your buddy with the camera doesn't hear? I got the applause. You got the applause. We also have Chris Weidman calling in, Israel Adesanya calling oh, in, fuck. and Matt came in, and and uh, and Chris has a camera crew with him. Matt immediately screamed at them. No, that's he, not. He they fucking threw it treated all. the camera the way no. Sonny treated it at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Godfather. Listen, I I was late. No, I wasn't late. I was on time. Was My fucking train was late. Yeah. And then I come in. I see Kamozi. I get happy. I see the cameras. I get weird. And I told the, and I kind of just told the guys to shut it off. And that felt weird to say that. Yeah. The fuck <laughs> about it? Am I the director? But then again, what is this candy camera? I didn't know. He, I told when I talked to Kamozi about coming in, I didn't know he, it was a plus two. Sure. No offense, guys. I'm happy you're here. I'm fucking happy you're here. All right, and I'll talk but, to Chris about his fight. You're okay. fighting. Uh, you are fighting Friday night at the Hammerstein Ballroom. Are tickets available or no? Yeah, they are. Tickets are available on Ticketmaster. Okay, so go there if you want to see. And uh, it's it, now, now, Glory, uh, the Super Fight Series, it does air on UFC Fight Pass at 7.30 this Friday. And um, what time is your fight? Did you know how, how late in the card are you? Uh, I'm later on the card. I think I'm third from last. And I think the that's around 9.30. Okay. From what uh, I've oh, it's right, I'm sorry, but it says right here. Uh, you're on uh, ESPN3, and the fight's at 9.30 Eastern Time. Okay, so if oh. you want to catch Chris, you see that's that. Part of the card, sir. Okay, yeah. Oh, I nailed it. Okay. Who are you fighting? I am fighting a guy named Myron Dennis. Do you guys have any back and forth or anything? <laughs> Do you? Because I see yeah. something that you said something about enough of the talk. Uh, what? Could you bring up what he said, even though he probably knows what he said? <laughs> I'm right. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, not, yeah, I'm yeah. not used to Kamosi going at anybody. He's such a nice dude. Yeah, he's a nice guy. So nah, what? Yeah, what he's, happened? He's been hammering me for for weeks now, just with really cringe worthy talking. So, you know. You know as well as I do, the best thing about the fight game is all that stuff you talk. I don't know, can I say shit here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, shit fuck! Yeah. Say right, anything, right, dude. I get so excited. All that shit you talk, you got to yes. back up at some point. You know, yeah. That's the best part about fighting. We're not we're not going to play a basketball game, football. Yeah, he's got to get in the ring with me. So, you know, he's fired me up, definitely, and uh, I can't wait to punch him. Yeah, I guess it is all settled there, right? You get to punch each other in the face. I mean, what better way to settle a dispute? Yeah, exactly. It's judgment day, you know? So I've got weeks and weeks of listening to his cringeworthy shit talking. Why do you say cringeworthy? Was he bad That's at terrible. it? That's terrible. It sounds terrible. like he's oh, like no. Oh, yeah, it's it's so bad. I can't even, I can't bring up specifics because I can't even remember. We should. We, we basically. Look, he's on it right now. The guy behind the Well, you're saying that he called you out because he likes easy fights. Yeah, yeah. That. Okay. You know, it's that type of stuff. And he likes to dance in the ring and stuff. So yeah. we'll see. We'll the see guy dances in the me. ring. Yeah. Like El, the, uh, El Kukui? El Kukui. Only guy who could pull that off. Yeah, I would if somebody good, dances in the ring or the cage, I would just boo them right away, unless it's El Kukui. Yeah, you do love that. Yeah. Ah, uh, one forty-eight. <gasps> After eating so steak bad. dinner, uh, you don't know how ready I am. <laughs> After a steak dinner. After a steak dinner. I'm ready. I'm ready. Feeling great for this camp. Uh, you're gonna see a bit of difference from my last fight. A lot more kicking. So I'm looking to uh, execute. If I execute properly, I'm gonna get this knockout. Uh, hopefully, we get on Sports Center this time. <laughs> been so dominant and then to have it taken from you like yes that. but uh, it's not the same if she loses she loses okay right. she loses okay right. that's it's uh, easier to okay, swallow she okay but uh, she loses four times now yeah. and two times a big big stone that's a very big stone 
So uh, I think she lose uh, only two times, and I prefer she lose. I prefer that. But this stall is horrible. Mm -hmm. So no doubt, though, you want you want to stop this fight. You don't want yes. it to go to the judges. Yes. Will it be early or late, or do you care? She she's stronger in, uh, in the first two rounds. This is my bet. I'm what I <laughs> eat today. I'm oh, stuffed. He's stuffed. Yeah, chicken Indeed. Caesar salad. Oh what? No pizza? Not yet. <laughs> that's that's for dinner. Nice. <laughs> Chin down a bit. Hold. Don't move. Go back up just a touch more. Okay, hold. Okay. I, I, I did it yesterday. I'm done with everything now. Perfect. Yeah, I, I like it too. Done. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I'm just going to weigh myself a couple right. times and then relax. Do your thing. Friday night, it's going down. And everybody's like, this guy tried to do it. 41.5. The lightest of girls. He's just going full out. So, but what you got? 141.5. Uh, supposed to be 143, so I guess I might eat a little bit. <laughs> training camp's been awesome. Um, really getting pushed in training, and it's gonna be an awesome fight. Chomini is like one of the best uh, Muay Thai fighters in the world, I I think, and um, I think it's gonna be a really good uh, good match, style versus style. So uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, we've been training uh, probably like 10 plus years together. It's been, uh, it's been a long journey. We fought on a lot of the same cards together, like uh, fought in Friday night fights, uh, won titles in Thailand together back in the world championships in the amateur days. And uh, so yeah, now I'm here coaching her. I see her, I see her getting the win. Uh, yeah, lots of volume, just, uh, just outworking the girl. The girl's not gonna be able to keep up with Ashley's base at all. What I'll expect from Chomini is, um, you know, a really strong kick game. Like strong left kicks, uh, strong body kicks. She has a, a good knee as well, so I'll just have to, um, you know, stay strong-minded through those uh, those techniques and stick to my game plan. I see. I see her uh, getting that title shot in the near future. I mean, you know, after I'd like to see actually win this fight, and then I can see her get getting that rematch with Vanessa, hopefully. I mean, whatever Glory wants to set up for me would be awesome. And uh, I would like to rematch Anissa, for sure. Um, you know, if she wins this fight, uh, for sure, that would be something I'd be looking forward to. I think uh, in this one, there's not going to be any controversy. She is ready. She has been really hard. She came. Ready. For a long time to Holland, where I'm living, uh, she's stronger than ever. Just like my shadow said, I hope that it's not going to go the distance. And trust me, I spar with her, and she, she can punch. And she will bring that. She will really bring that. The only thing that I know for sure is going to be an amazing fight from both sides. Don't blink. Big show on Friday. I'm ready. I want another belt, another victory. Show the world who is the champion. We're really fortunate that we have an event next to the UFC where we get a chance to um, host you here. I know it's a busy week. I know you're taking time out of your schedules for us. We really appreciate it. Um, I also want to thank our champ, Sidichai, uh, for being here. He's got weight to make tomorrow. Uh, uh, he's shown up. Uh, he's a dominant champion. He is absolutely incredible. We're really happy to have him. I'll give a little more um, comment about him in a moment. We are um, here in a Thai restaurant in New York. We've got a bunch of combat press coming in to meet Sidichai, to give him a little background on glory and educate some of the media that may not know a lot about us with the hopes of trying to engage them to cover us more consistently. You can expect to see more of these events as we go forward. We know we have to put energy into the business uh, and that means creating these relationships and I'm happy to see some familiar faces from my days back in the UFC drink. Um, and uh, that's it, so enjoy yourselves and welcome. Thank you.